Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT in your task boards. I'm going to walk you through an example where I'm going to be sending automated connection request messages to LinkedIn profiles and I'm going to be personalizing these messages by ChatGPT. And I will be providing ChatGPT with uh, data from these profiles, such as about me, uh, section description and uh, job title. I'm merely using this as an example, so the concepts that you're going to learn here uh, can be used for any other use case where you need to add ChatGPT to your task boards. So let's get started. I've got a data table with uh, LinkedIn profiles. So we've got here a LinkedIn profile link, the name, and I've already uh, built a task board, which I showed you in some of the previous videos, that collects information from these uh, profiles. So we've collected information from the About Me section description and also the job title. That's the data that I'm going to be sending to ChatGPT so that ChatGPT can personalize the message that the task board is going to be sending. I've already set up a loop, which is a dynamic loop that iterates over existing rows in, of the data table profiles. I've also already added a building block open link, which references to the profile link. So in other words, there is a loop that is going to open every profile from the data table. Now let's add ChatGPT. First of all, let's uh, make sure that our prompt is good enough to be sending to ChatGPT. For that, I recommend you first open your ChatGPT and um, experiment with a few prompts until you are happy with your prompt. Once you know 100% what prompt works best in your case, then use it in the task board. Next, I also want to point out that for this, you would need to use an API key from OpenAI. For that, simply go to platform.openai. Uh, dot com slash API keys and here you will see uh, your keys or you can create a new key and then use it in zero work because the task board needs your API key in order to send a prompt to ChatGPT using your ChatGPT account. Next, I also want to show you which steps we're going to take on the LinkedIn profile. <clears throat> First of all, we're going to click on the button connect and then we're going to click on the button add a note and then this is the place where we are going to paste the message. Let's continue. So here after the task board opens a profile, we want, um, want it to click on the button um, connect. I'm going to get uh, a selector for that uh, button by simply copying this as a selector like so. I'm also going to add a little bit of delay <coughs> and I'm also going to add another um, button and that's going to be this button add a note for that I'm just going to use a label you might wonder why haven't I used a label for the previous button that's because I tested this uh, board previously to make in this video and I noticed that the label uh, is not going through on LinkedIn for the button connect. Sometimes you need to experiment with a few different options. Okay, now we're good to go to add ChatGPT to our workflow. So let's scroll down to the building block called Ask ChatGPT, connect it to the last action, and I'll enter our prompt right here. So let's copy it from here and paste it here. And now we need to make a few adjustments. Right now we're addressing this prompt to Katerina always, but we want to address it dynamically to the profile um, that we're trying to make a connection request to. So let's pick the first name. Let's also make the job title dynamic as well. So let's reference it to the job title. And the last bit that we need to change is the About Me section. So let's remove all of that and let's instead enter about right here like so. Okay, now we need to save the answer that ChatGPT is going to return to a variable or to a new column in our table. So I'm going to go with a variable and as you can see I don't have any variables yet so I need to create one which I'm just going to call message. Create and then simply add here. So we're almost good to go so let's save by hitting Command S 
And now we can uh, add our authentication key. As you can see, we have a warning here. You haven't added your key yet. So let's add it here. This leads us to the account settings and the integrations section. So your API key as at platform.openai.com at slash API keys. So here you can create a new key and then you can simply paste it right here. I'm going to pause my recording for a second so that I can enter my API key right here. As you can see, I have added my OpenAI key here and now I can go back to my task board and continue building it. So let's go back to our task boards, then continue with this one. Uh, we've got our AskJGPT building block set up. As you can see, we don't see any warning anymore. That's because I have added my API key. And now I can just continue using that answer from ChatGPT and adding it to the connection request node. So let's go back to this profile. After we hit the button connect and then add a node, what happens? Well, we see an input field and you see that the mouse cursor is right here. So we can directly continue with inserting the content and then just hitting the button send. So I'm going to grab the building block called insert text to data. And I'm going to, um, to grab the variable message add it here um, and I'm going to increase the delay to 10 seconds so that we have time to review the message that ChatGPT generated. I'm also not going to add the click web element button to hit the button send. That's because I don't want to be sending those messages and those connection requests. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate how this is done. Okay, now we're good to go to run this taskboard and see what it does in action. Okay, so here's the first profile being opened. We will now see how the taskboard is going to hit the button connect. So let's wait for a bit, then add a note, and then now here is going to insert the personalized message. As you can see, it's pretty good. It's very personalized. It actually took the information from the about section uh, and leveraged that. I'm going to increase this a little bit. Here's the next profile. Uh, it has a pretty extensive about me section. So I'm very curious what ChatGPT is going to, to do about it. So as you can see, again, it's taking the information that was provided in that about section and transforming it into a personalized message. All right, so this is how you can use Ask ChatGPT building block to personalize your outreach or also in any other use cases. Thanks for watching.